What's going on guys? In this video, we'll be going over some command prompt commands that deal with shutting down, restarting a computer, hibernating, putting, putting your computer to sleep, and sort of those type of commands. So first we'll start off with our restart. So pretty much all these commands use the command uh, shut down. And then each of them have flags that uh, differentiate between shutting down, sleeping, hibernating, and so on so so let's just go to uh, let's just type in shut down shut down now if you want to restart the computer all we have to do is type in this hyphen and R R is the parameter that stands for restarting a computer so shut down and then hyphen and then R so if I press this it's going to actually uh, it's not going to restart right away it will actually give me about I think 30 seconds or so and within that 30 seconds, there's another command that I can use to actually abort this command. So I'm going to type this, and then I'm going to abort. Because, of course, I don't want to restart my computer, then I'll have to start all, uh, restart the recording and all that. Alright, so Windows uh, will shut down in less than a minute. Okay, so now I can just uh, type in shut down and abort to abort the command. And if you can see, I don't think you guys can see this. I actually can't. Okay, log off is canceled. So these are two commands that uh, deal with shutting down, restarting your computer. So shut down hyphen R uh, allows you to restart your computer, and then shut down hyphen A will allow you to abort the uh, shutdown command. So let's just uh, look at a couple more flags or, or parameters. So we have shut down slash L. So this is just to log off. If you want to log off from your computer from the command prompt, you just do shutdown hyphen uh, L. Now a couple other ones, let's see. Uh, if you want to shut down your computer from the command prompt, it's just uh, shutdown hyphen S. So we have shutdown hyphen R for restart, shutdown hyphen S to shut down your computer. Alright, next. Okay, so I don't really use uh, hibernate much but if you want to put your computer in hibernation mode what you need to do is use the uh, parameter H so hyphen H will put your uh, computer in hibernation mode this H does not stand for help it stands for uh, hibernation mode so keep that in mind and then there's one more let's see now if you want to add a timer say you want to shut down your computer you're doing some work you're going to leave your house for a few hours and you know your work's going to finish in about two hours so you want to shut down your computer after those two hours what you can do is use a time uh, time flag so shut down now if you want to shut down your, your computer you want to use the uh, shutdown flag and then to that you can add a t parameter so what this t does it um it's sort of a timer parameter and after that, you add in the, the amount of seconds. So everything's counted by seconds. So if you want to leave for an hour, I'm assuming that's 30 second, uh, 60 seconds per minute. So that should be something like 3,600 uh, seconds. So everything is measured in seconds. So if, in this case, if I, you, if I type in 30, that 30 represents 30 seconds. So here, uh, shut down. We want to shut down our computer in 30 seconds. So let's uh, let's just try this out. I think I can abort this uh, using the abort command. Let's just see if I can abort this or not. Okay, so Windows will shut down in less than a minute. Let me just abort this. Shut down. And okay, so the shutdown has been canceled. All right, so these are some of the, uh, some very basic useful commands, uh, some very basic uh, ways of shutting down your computer from the command prompt. All right. Now, unfortunately, with sleep, there is no built-in function, a uh, built-in command that allows you to sleep from the command prompt. There are workarounds around it. So I'm going to go over a few workarounds. Okay, so this first method is a little hacky because we have to utilize uh, RunD1132, which is actually something that's been uh, deprecated since Vista. There's a lot of mixed comments uh, regarding RunD1132 when used to manipulate windows um, but in our case we're just using it to sleep we're not, you know we're not creating software or we're not uh, working with servers or uh, saving things so I'm not sure how much it will affect 
us in our case, but you guys can test it out and see if you if you run into any problems. For my uh, short time of testing it out, I haven't uh, ran into any problems. So, but it is a, a long command and it's not the cleanest way. Yeah. So let's just get to it. So uh, the first thing is uh, turn off the hibernation mode because it, it defaults to putting your computer into a, a hibernation state. So the way you do that is power cfg uh, hyphen h and then um, you just type in off. So this will turn off the hibernation mode. But as you can see, you don't have permission to enable this. So we have to actually restart um, command prompt, but we have to restart it in administrator mode. So to do that, um, what you can do is just before starting, control shift enter. Instead of just pressing enter a command prompt, what you need to do is press control shift enter. So I'll just say yes here. Okay, so now if you can see the title of this dialog box, uh, it says administrator. What I'll do is I will turn off uh, hibernation mode. So power CFG. So this might be a little more difficult for you guys to see. Um, let's see. I'll just change this font, the colors. Uh, I don't want to change background. I'm going to be black. Let's just put the text into this neon green. This is probably easier to see. Okay. And I can just change the font. Let's see. Uh, properties, font. All right. So, 28. All right. So, this should be easy, hopefully easier to see. All right. So, power CFG H off. So, this will turn off the uh, hibernation mode. So, to turn back hibernation mode, what you have to just do is the same thing and just type in on. So, just remember that to turn off. But if you turn it off once, it's um, sort of permanently off. It's not just for this instance of command prompt. Even when you restart command prompt or start a new instance of command prompt, it's still going to be off. But I never use hibernation state, so in my case, I guess it doesn't really affect me. But let's just turn this off. Okay. So now the code is uh, pretty long. I've just saved this onto a text file, so I'm just going to paste it. Let's see, paste. Okay. So it's run d one one three two dot exe pwr prop dot dll comma set suspend state zero one zero. So this is pretty long. Probably not the most efficient way. I think it's just easier to probably just go to start and sleep. But I just want to show you guys one way you can put your computer to sleep from the command prompt. Now if I press enter, this should put my computer to sleep. All right. So I'm actually going to put this to sleep. Here we go, I'm going to press enter and it sleeps. Okay, I guess it's still recording. All right, so let's go over a couple other ways. Another way that you can sleep from the command prompt is uh, you can download a tool called PS Shutdown. So this seems to be an official Microsoft uh, tool. You can download it from here. Uh, I will put a link in the description uh, so you can download this uh, PS Shutdown 252. Now you don't even have to install it. What you, all you need is the exe file and we're going to add this path, path leading to the exe file in our path variable. So the first thing you want to do is go to the site and you want to download PS uh, Tools and then you want to extract it. And once you've extracted it, here I've extracted it, it looks something like this. There's a, a bunch of uh, sort of exe files and the one we're going to use is shutdown exe. So once you've uh, downloaded it, extracted, you'll see something like this. Then what you want to do is just uh, copy this path leading to these exe files. And we're going to copy this path and add it to the, the environmental variable. So to find the environmental variables, what we need to do is go to start uh, my computer system properties so my computer system properties then you hit advanced system settings i'm just going to make sure you guys can see all this okay it's probably a little small but hopefully you guys get the uh, idea advanced system settings and now on the bottom here you see you should see something called environmental variables so you click that and now the first variable for me is path so you should uh click edit on path and now what you want to do is just uh, the path we copied we're going to add it to the beginning of the path variable so this might just take a little while but 
I have a bunch of paths. Okay, so I've gotten to the beginning. I'm going to paste the path I early I copied earlier. So I'm going to paste it. So as you can see, downloads PS Tools, PS Tools, PS Tools, and then you want to add a, a semicolon to the end of this. So each of these paths are divided by uh, semicolons. So to divide this path from the next path, which is uh, C something something program. Okay, so now you just hit OK, OK, OK. We're going to close this, uh, close this as well. And we're going to go back to our uh, command prompt. Now, sometimes you might need to restart the command prompt. Okay, so yeah, so you need to, so after adding PS shutdown to the path variable, what you need to do is restart command prompt and then you also need to run command prompt in administrator mode so we're going to restart a command we're going to get out of command prompt and I'm going to rerun it in administrator mode so that's control shift enter and this will allow us to run in administrator mode all right all right so now we should have no problem uh, running uh, putting our computer to sleep using the ps shutdown command now just a couple of things I want to show you PS, okay, so the command is PS shutdown, shutdown, but we have to add a couple of parameters. So the first parameter is uh, hyphen D. So hyphen D stands for suspend. So it's the same thing as sleep. Suspend mode is sleep mode. The other thing you have to do is add a time parameter because the default uh, suspend mode is 20 seconds. So if I were to just if I were just to just use this command um, without adding the uh, the T flag or the uh, T parameter, this would take 20 seconds for uh, my PC to go into sleep mode. But if I add the time parameter, then I can control how many seconds it takes for my PC to go into sleep mode. So in this case, I'm going to add zero for zero seconds. So this should this should instantly um, put my uh, PC into sleep mode. So let's try this out. So PS shutdown uh, hyphen D uh, space hyphen T and then zero. Let's, so let's just test this out. Okay, so it seems to be in a semi sleep mode. Alright, so besides PS Shutdown and RunD1132.exe, there's a couple of other popular methods to access the sleep command um, from the command prompt. I will not be going over uh, these two methods in detail because both of them are very similar to uh, PS Shutdown. You have to either download or install something and then um, use that utility to be able to run some commands. So in this case, the two are, I'm going to actually type these out and then um, I will put some links in the description so you guys can actually download and install them if you're interested to test them out. So NIRM, one is NIRM CD, uh, that's the utility, and the command will be standby. And the other one is Vismo, and um, the command will also be uh, standby. So both of these are pretty popular it seems and they have more utility than just uh, putting your PC to sleep so if you guys are interested you can look at all the commands and all the benefits of using these uh, two two utilities but in my case I think I find both of these ways uh, PS shutdown and the run uh, run 1132.exe to be a lot more difficult than I expected so I will probably be sticking to the start and um, start and sleep sort of uh, with the mouse unless I, I run into something uh, more efficient but if you guys have some uh, other method um, some more efficient method then uh, just please let me know and I will uh, try to make an update on this video I do know there's something revolving around the bats to create shortcuts uh, keyboard shortcuts but that's something I'll have to look into later all right, so in this video, we pretty much went over uh, different ways of shutting down the PC from the command prompt. So you have shutdown, you have a restart, log off, hibernate, and um, you could also add times, a time element to your shutdown and restart. 
And finally, we went over some different ways, one, a couple of hackish ways to put your PC to sleep from the command prompt. All right, so I just leave any comments, what you guys want to hear, uh, what you guys would like me to go over, and um, I welcome the feedback, and I will see you guys next time.